the Psychorama uh, 483. What's the numbers? You got me really fucking close, dude. Okay, now we get down into the cam chest. We're gonna go with the SNS uh, pump and plate. The the manifold's gonna, it's a little larger, so it's gonna capture more air. Is so, this still gonna be your forever bike in two years? It, it is. If anybody comes in, uses the code MK87. Bang, you'll get a discount. You'll get a discount. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to another video. We're here at the Torque Custom Cycle Shop. I'm here with the main man, Angry Mike. I mean, Mike. <laughs> all right, guys, basically what we're doing today is that we're gonna be ordering, we're gonna be placing the order for all the parts that are gonna be going on to the uh, stage two for my 2024 Lowrider ST tobacco fade. So what I kind of wanted to do was more so, because I do get a lot of questions when I do these type of videos uh, for the installs and stuff. So. What I wanted to do for you, the average person that doesn't really know what goes into a stage two and what kind of parts you need to uh, to put in um, in case if, let's say, if you weren't around this local area, you wanted to stop by and order your parts from Mike, which you can do. He can put everything all together for you. But for those of you guys who are out of state, uh, a little far, and you want to buy stuff on your own, this will give you the information of what you need uh, for for this bike in particular. Now, something really cool that Mike is offering right now as well, because he does a lot of package deals here for uh, customers who come in, who come in from the channel. Uh, but if you are watching and you are far out of state, you can uh, just order, call up. Um, he could do a package deal for you. He'll ship everything out. Um, so that's that's a great option right there, yeah. which is pretty cool. Yeah, so <clears throat> basically, we'll, most of the core components we use are all the same but there's always a choice of cam. So mm -hmm. I can put a package together in one box for you where we'll put all the core components in, but if let's say you want a Cyclorama cam or if you want a Star, Star Racing, Racing cam or an SNS or a fueling, we can also put that in there for you. Sweet. And some cool stickers. Yeah, you get some cool stickers. So for the cam, because I know we, we've been talking about what cam am I gonna am I gonna put on the bike, we're gonna go with the Cyclorama 483 for my bike. Um, I had the 475, which I loved on my other low rider. Loved the sound of that bike, loved the performance of it. Then I had the four, what was it, 465 on the Rogue Glide? Yeah, I believe so. It was a 465 exactly. on the Rogue Glide from fueling. Um, great cam for, for a Rogue Glide, in my opinion. Real smooth, uh, power delivery is awesome on there as well. And now we're doing this build, and I kind of just wanted to do something different. I always want to try different parts, uh, different companies. Um, did a lot of research on, on this camera in particular. Numbers uh, were shown to be great. I saw a lot of graphs. And when it comes to the sound, it's very, you could say it's very similar to a 475, which in my opinion, the 475 probably has one of the best sounds out there for, for any cam. So yeah, so Sagorama 483 cam is the cam we're going to go with right here. All right, so uh, you want to start the list because we're basically he already put the list together right here, and um, he's just gonna let you know exactly what parts in particular we're gonna be putting. Also for for the top because we're gonna we're we gonna be doing the strengthening kit for the top. Yeah, we're gonna put the right. uh, wrapper arm stud kit in. Uh, uh, a lot of shops you might take your bike and they might not recommend this part. Mike does it just to be more on the safer side down the line. Yeah, so we're gonna take the tops off. Um, we're going to replace the solid push rods with solid push rods because in your case you're going to go stage two and that's probably where you're going to leave this bike you're not going to go stage three or four no no probably stage two that's right it. so in that case we're not changing um stack height of the um, jugs and cylinders or cylinder heads we're not changing we're not putting a giant cam in here that doesn't have a base lobe uh, of similar or the same to the stock Harley. So this, the solid push rods are okay. are good. If you had a monster cam going in this thing, or you told me you're going to stage four, stage three later on, we'd uh, probably run the adjustables in here. Okay. Um, just because you really do need to run them at that point. Okay. I know, I know people are gonna ask about that. What, what, what would be the big difference between doing adjustables and, and solids? Yeah, and I always ask a customer, if they're never going above a stage two, then I'll put the solids in. 
Gotcha. So there's no maintenance on them. They're quiet when you pair them with the right lifters. And uh, and that's that. Okay, cool. So like, let's uh, let's run down this parts list real quick. So we'll start from, I'll start from the top. So once we open up the tops, uh, we're gonna go with the SNS rocker arm stud kit. Now there's two different kits. Um, SNS makes one, Fueling makes one. The reason why I like the SNS better is at the top of the stud, there's actually an Allen head in there. So you can, it's just easier, it's easier to install. With the fuelings, you have to put uh, two nuts, lock them together, and then drive them down. Into which we did on my, on my Roguelide. Which we did on the Roguelide. These are, these are just an easier install. It just okay. takes less time because you don't have to lock two nuts together, drive it down, unlock the nuts, move them to the next one. Sweet. It's got a nice little Allen head. So uh, this is the whole strengthening kit, rocket arm studs for the top right here. So it's first thing. So we're, yeah, it removes the uh, stock bolts and puts these in. And these are, um, retail on these are $122, guys. So basically what we're also gonna do is that we're gonna run down with prices and at the end we'll give you a, a, a ballpark figure of what a stage two could be running you. Okay, so <clears throat> working, our way, uh, working our way now, we have the fueling solid push rods. Okay. Okay, these are gonna replace, they're, they're very heavy duty. They're gonna replace the stock uh, flimsy Harley push rods that you can actually cut with bolt cutters. Right. <laughs> Um, then we're going to go down to the lifters. So we found that the combination of the parts that we use, the fueling race lifters, are the quietest ones. Fueling, yeah. fueling makes two or three different lifters. They make like a, a, a stock OEM replacement, they make an HP Plus, and then they make a race lifter. Nice, so the okay. race lifters are, they're the quietest ones. Nice, okay. Okay. And the, how much are those lifters? So the lifters are $299. $299. 300 bucks basically, okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> With those lifters, we're gonna put the SNS Tappet Cuffs. Nice. We're in, we're in there, we're changing lifters for $85. Might as well change them out, get rid of the plastics and put in the, the aluminums. Yeah, the stock ones that Harley provides, it comes with their, their plastic guys. So L little stuff that in a long term, they're, they're worth it, man. Right. Peace of mind. Okay, now we get down into the cam chest. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna go with the SNS uh, pump and plate. Okay. I know there's controversy. I know it's, yeah, the 2020 and up is good. It's good. I'm pulling it out. Let's, Just put, a high, let's put a high performance pump in. Why not? You're yeah. in there. It's $837 for pump and plate. Blue. The other thing we have on the kit, and then um, Harley tensioners are just fine, but I change the tensioners also when I do the SNS pump and plate. It's our 104. Yeah. And that's where it goes. We've got the fueling cam chain drive sprocket gear. This goes on the crank, on the pinion, and this one is a much tighter fit than the Harley. The Harley stock one will rock from left to right. One, if you've ever been in a cam chest, that can throw off your, your valve timing. So we put these in. This gear actually will, once we put it on, you have to pull it off with a gear puller. That's how tight they are. Gotcha, okay. So when we, we, we do put the gear on twice because we put it on once and we put the cam chain gear on and then you, you have to measure to see if they're flush with each other. So when we have to take this thing back off, we gotta put, use the gear puller. The last thing that we put on the kit here is, this is a gasket kit from Fueling. Um, it's really a comedic gasket kit, but what Fueling also throws in there is a set of exhaust gaskets, or sorry, that's part of the comedic gasket kit. They throw ARP, they throw ARP bolts in here for your um, cam and your crank, and they throw a new cam bearing so it all comes in a kit it's easy it comes with the you know the rockers it comes with uh all the o-rings for the push ring uh push rods everything okay so that's really your core components now and then the cam so the cam separate from that is the cyclorama uh 483 and this cam is 369 dollars mm -hmm. okay and it's suitable, you know, from 107 to 117. 
<clears throat> this will be our first 483 install. We've done. Yes! 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 So you, you know what we're gonna give you guys, right? We gotta. We gotta. You guys need to know what's the numbers. I know we never. We never really got to. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> what's the numbers? We never really got to give you the numbers on the on the low rider when we did um, the stage three on it. Uh, because I ended up selling that bike. Um, <laughs> but yeah, with this, you're going to get the, the, the full fact, all the details, all the graphs from the dyno as well. Um, so definitely tune in for that. Super excited for this cam. I really can't wait to see the combined power and how everything's going to go all just mesh together with this cam and the SP Concept exhaust that, that we're going to throw on the bike as well. So it should sound really good and it should perform even better. So... Um, we've done both. We've done the SNS. We've done the Revolution. I kind of like the Revolution. Um, so the Revolution Performance 55 millimeter intake. Um, I think we'll be putting that in also at the time once because we have everything apart. Might Sweet. Well. Hell yeah. Get rid of the uh, the plastic one that the Harley puts in. Now is this gonna just so what what is this supposed to improve? So everybody out there has a little knowledge. Um, the the manifold's gonna it's a little larger so it's gonna capture more air um it's also cnc that's, that's more air coming <laughs> it's cnc ported um it's their uh, revolution performance is talking to three to four percent gain just by bolting on the three to four percent horsepower gain just bolting on more the numbers manifold. baby a little yeah a little a little bit and it's just I, I like the i like having metal parts yeah, durability. Uh, as you know, the, the Harley, the stock one is plastic, and then over time it could crack or whatever. But once again, put in parts in that are just gonna be more durable and then more reliable down the line. This is a this is a bike, guys. That I I plan on keeping. Like this is like one of the forever bikes. When you have bikes, you're like, oh well, this is gonna be my forever bike. I'll keep that forever. So this is this is gonna be it. We'll just add on after this. We won't be getting rid of this one. I promise you that. Is it so, still going to be your forever bike in two years? It, it is. It's, it's going to be my friends forever, dude. Um, so, yeah, we're only going to hopefully cross our fingers. We're only going to keep adding on. And maybe I'll end up with like 10 bikes like this guy has one day. Do you? No, I don't have 10 bikes anymore. So how many do you have now? One, two, three, four, five. Down to five. And your new road life? That's with five. Oh. That's there. No, I'm sorry, five. <laughs> not, not, not all of us can say we have five bikes. I had three at one time. Good times, good times. Anyways, um, anything else? Is that, is that going to be it? Right? I think that's I think what we're, we're going to do. I mean, um, I don't see any other upgrades right now. Um, oh, I think maybe we should... Uh, we sh are you going to do the teardrop air cleaner now? Yeah. Okay. So classic look with the teardrop, classic. I want to do something else and make it look, you know, more performance and everything, but I, I love the look of the of the teardrop, man. It's just classic and it keeps the engine look real nice I and clean. I think we should do a vented trans stop cover. Mm -hmm. um, just to relieve some of that crankcase pressure. Um, it's either dipstick cover. I mean, I, I like doing the cover over the dipstick just because... Yeah, it gets in the way when you check the oil and things like that. Yeah. So we'll do the trans top cover on it. And I'm also going to, and I install these in all the bikes. I'm going to change out the sump plug on the bottom of the crankcase uh, with the fueling sump plug because it's like, it's a lot shorter than the stock sump plug. So the, there is an area in the crankcase that oil will get trapped. Mm -hmm. And this allows it to not get trapped. Okay. We can show you a picture here. I'll just get a picture up. Your factory plug that goes into the bottom of the motor is this height, and the fueling is a shorter one. We keep these in stock. We put them in every stage too. You know, we try to keep we try to keep the oil flowing as best as possible in these bikes. Um, and these are just some of the little things we do. If we were doing a stage uh, three, when we open it up, we change the piston jet oilers over to like the uh, SNS ones. Nice. There's an area down in here, and oil with the longer plug, it can slow the oil down from getting out from behind it mm. and moving, and then the fueling one sits a lot lower. There you go. Taking out the trash. And some Ryan. Taking out the trash. Taking out the trash. <laughs>
Pizza cake. The fueling sits down low like that where the stock one goes all the way up. So it'll allow oil to move out back out of that cavity instead of getting trapped. Gotcha. Helps to circulate better then. Yeah, it's just little things, you know. If you're going to be in there, we do it. Might as well, yeah. All right. You know, and that thing costs like, I think, $10. You know? That's right. I buy them in five packs, so I always have them. Nice. So we give uh, everybody a total price okay. right now, but this is going to cost of what this could cost you but remember we're adding the trans top cover also so there's there's other things that we're going to add on to this yeah it's, so it's, i'm going to show you that's why you know when we look at the price but if you are in the local area guys and if you want to get your parts order them from mike get your parts installed here you, you could definitely get the uh mk87 discount which he, uh, he'll provide for you so I mean you'll you'll get that done once you come to the job here. Also, I'm gonna be linking down a link in my bio as well, so you guys could uh, kind of see all these parts as well. So we've got the fueling sump plug, mm -hmm. the trash trans top cover, solid push rods, pinion shafts, uh, sprocket, the rocker arm stud kit, cam chain tensioner, gasket set pump and plate, uh, tappet cuffs, and tappets, or lifters. Lifters. So that comes out to a grand total of twenty-one fifty-two fifty. <whistles> plus your cam. The cam is another $300. The cam is actually, or something. I think it's three sixty-nine okay. for the cam you wanted. Here it is. And the cam is another three sixty-nine mm -hmm. on top of that. Okay. So you're looking at around roughly with this type of build, maybe twenty four to twenty five hundred bucks, just in just in parts alone. Yeah, twenty five, twenty one for in parts alone. Yeah, so that's that. Um, this is about a for us. It's about a ten hour job. You know, we'll uh, if anybody comes in, uses the code MK eighty seven. Bang! You'll get a discount. You get a discount. Uh, this now just keep in mind. This does not include Dino sessions or dyno licensing right so that's totally separate right because once one it, for those of you guys who you know are not neck deep into it um you're, you're gonna have to tune your bike and the dyno sessions could run maybe six hours or so on a stage two on yeah. a stage two yeah mm -hmm. so that's something else that you gotta add in there i know a lot of people are gonna say you don't need all this you can cut your push rods put the adjustables in get your cam done for two grand yeah, which you can. It's your decision. Right. There, there, there's a lot of different options out there. This is probably the best option for the type of build that we're going to be doing. So that's it, guys. That's all the information that you uh, need to know in case if anyone has a Lowrider ST, Lowrider S, you want to do a stage two upgrade to your uh, 117 out there right now or other 114s or whatever it may be. Um, this is what you're, what were you looking at right here? Keep in mind, these parts are the same for touring. No, so true. this is all your core components that go into any of the M8s. True, true. So you're just changing, you're changing your cam. The only time that this would change is if you're going to go with a high lift cam over 490. We're going to have to, we're going to want to put valve springs in. Right, which we did on my uh, my low rider S. Yeah. Yeah. All right, awesome, guys. If you have any questions, I'm going to be linking down all the information for Mike's shop down below. You could uh, visit, stop by, give him a call. Um, that's gonna be down below and any information will also be down below the builds should be coming in the parts are gonna get ordered we're gonna start with the videos the installs are coming if you guys have any questions on the installs or whatever is coming up drop them down right now let me know what you want to know ahead of time right now so maybe we could try to focus a little more when it comes to the installs on, on, uh, on those various questions that you may have or not um, and that's it if you want to see more content like this make sure to tune in like comment subscribe share this with your friends and uh like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace i'm excited yes look excited ryan i was not excited i was not excited brandon
worse. Mike. That was like a SpongeBob excitement. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide. I don't know if I missed that. <laughs>